Like all SMEs and small businesses, we used to chase after the big deals. Whatever you call it, the big fish, the whale, the high net worth client or the six figure deal, we fantasize about the deal that will change our business forever and skyrocket our business. In my experience, getting the big deal will not change our business. It might actually hurt your business. Here are three reasons why. Number one, big deals doesn't equal to big revenue. Revenue is not recorded when the deal is closed. It is only clocked when you have delivered your products or services. That you already know. Clients can still call off the deal when you fail to deliver. So it's too early to celebrate when a deal is confirmed. Many businesses like to close the deal and figure it out later. They even have a mantra, commit first, panic later. The panicking can sometimes give a heart attack and it's not worth it. In our earlier days, we used to take any kind of business as long as the deal amount is big enough. For example, web design for 8K, we'll do it. LinkedIn marketing for 9K, hell yes. Chatbot for 10K, let's do it. As confident entrepreneurs, we can always figure out how to do it, right? Sure, but is it worth the while? Here's the reality. We have to spend so much time figuring things out because we are always doing something for the first time. There is no SOP or anything to refer to. And you know that the first time you do something is always the hardest. You make all the mistakes and go through a lot of heart attacks. There is a lot of time you spend troubleshooting and failing and troubleshooting again. Given all the man hours invested, I can tell you that the project wasn't even profitable because it took away all our time from growing the business. The thing about big deals is that it usually requires customization. Eventually, we create all these new services to fulfill the big project without any repeatability. The next client will want something else. It's like we are reinventing the wheel each time and building a business from scratch with every project. It is crazy amount of work and we are like spinning the hamster wheel. It's okay if the business grows, but we are not deepening the mode of the business at all. There is a lot of inefficiency and wastage of resources. Now we only specialize in paid ads and we don't do customization for big projects. With each paid ads project, we gain a deeper understanding of what works and strengthen our solution. Eventually, it becomes easier and easier with each project because of the data and learning accumulated over the years. We become the expert of paid ads. It's a win-win situation because our clients know that they are working with one of the best. So if you are always doing different things for different clients, you are not creating a zone of genius. Of course, these days, many people say that you can close the deal and you don't have to figure it out yourself. You can always outsource the work with a subcontractor, right? As long as the deal size is big enough. Here's the thing, when the deal goes south, who does the client look for? They don't look for your subcontractor, they look for you. Reputation is like glass. Once you break it, it's very hard to piece it back. Is it really worth risking your reputation for the sake of one-time earning no matter how big it is? I don't think so. Furthermore, if you're not familiar with the service, it's very hard to manage the project with a subcontractor. So the chance of failure is there. When that happens, you might even have to refund the client or even compensate the client. It's not worth it. Don't be enticed by the big deal. Every week, we release a new video talking about marketing, psychology and business growth. Don't miss the videos, subscribe and press the bell notification so that when new videos are released, you will be notified. Secondly is bargaining power. It's a vicious cycle. When you have a big client, they will ask you to do things that are customized and a bit out of the way sometimes. For example, you usually do monthly reporting, but this client demands daily reporting. Or this big client keeps asking for unlimited edits of your design even though you already delivered what was agreed in the first place. The client keeps changing his mind and asks you to edit. Here's the problem, you cannot say no especially when they represent more than 50% of your revenue. The thought of losing this big client and closing down your business scares you to death so you have to do everything that the client asks you to do. This big client knows the power imbalance and use it to his advantage. Needless to say, he will ask you to do more and more things. Because you have to keep on serving this client, you do not have time to find other clients in this way, you are stuck with this big client forever. You cannot grow your business. This is a vicious cycle. And what I just said is a good case scenario. In a bad case scenario, the client fires you and you lose half of your revenue, which means you suddenly have to cut costs. You have to do retrenchment, move out of your office, go into debt or whatever. It's very bad for morale and your health. The rule of thumb, do not have any client that represent more than 20% of your revenue. Otherwise, it becomes very unhealthy for your business. The fact is that some 
clients just don't value your work or abuse your staff, you have to have the power to stop working with any client at any time to protect your team. So you should start diversifying your client portfolio and gain more clients in different industries perhaps. This way, your business is more stable and you can sleep better at night. And thirdly, solve the right problem. I used to go to this gynae and each time I visit the clinic, I'm always very amazed with the operation. He takes only 5 to 10 minutes to turn around a patient. When I book a slot with the gynae, the slots are in 10 minutes interval which means he can see a lot of patients a day and his slots are always fully booked every day, Monday to Saturday. I estimate that he can see about 300 patients in one week. That is huge volume. You do your math, he's making good money. The thing is, you don't always have to grow your business by taking in a big project. It can be a volume game so long as your operations is smooth like the guy needs. He is very efficient because he's very good at what he does and he has systemized everything from booking appointments to collecting medicine it is fast what i'm trying to say is that we can think from another perspective the challenge you are facing may not be the size of the deal it could be about good operations and pipeline if you have a strong pipeline of clients you can have a very healthy revenue growth this means you cannot just wait for customers to come in anymore you have to do inbound and outbound marketing to get customers systematically this way your revenue can grow in a more stable and consistent way instead of waiting for a big real client to bump up your revenue I would say creating a pipeline is much more predictable. Thanks for watching this video. Do like, subscribe, and press the bell notification so that when new videos are released, you will be notified. I'll catch you soon.